Hi everyone, uh, so my name is Marek Sotak and I'm the founder of Inline Manual, which is a tool that allows you to create interactive inline tutorials. And uh, why I'm here is uh, because uh, we are now targeting a B2B area and we are kind of thinking about moving into more into B2C. And we have already a, lo a lot of ideas, but I thought that it might be interesting to get some ideas from you as well. So uh, we have been working on this for the past two years, and I would say officially we launched uh, last week, uh, and just recently we were on Product Hunt, and uh, right now we are just overwhelmed with, with the reactions and everything, so it's good times, but very tiring. So I'm going to show you the demo of, of the actual application. Uh, so uh, there are three parts. The first part is the player, uh, which is what the end users are actually seeing, and uh, it looks like this. It's a kind of like a widget on top of your web application. And it can be used for any web-based application, uh, whatever is written in HTML. So if the end user clicks on this, we, you see like a list of tutorials here. We have only one. And if the end user clicks on that, they are being navigated through the whole uh, kind of workflow, how to operate with the website or application or so. So they can then click on next. Uh, they are then being uh, basically taught how to work with the application so I can click on this. It, it listens to my kind of what I do, so it reacts on the clicking on the buttons and so on. Uh, and then I can, for example, here fill in anything, uh, go to the next, next, and next. So it's kind of like a guided tours for your web app, basically. Now, what the player as well allows you is kind of like that it is contextual. So basically, it gives you a list of tutorials and the one that is related to the specific web page where you are, it will put it on top of the list so the end user always sees uh, the actual tutorial that they want to use or is, that will be helpful for them. Uh, so that's the player. Uh, it works for any browser IE8 plus. And uh, the second part is the actual, actual portal. So basically, uh, this, if you know, for example, GitHub, uh, this is kind of like GitHub. It is a central repository of all these tutorials. So basically you can create these tutorials and see and share them and collaborate with others within organizations and so, so on. We have there a public and private uh, approach as well. So for example, you can create a public uh, tutorial that anyone else can reuse. So for example, if you are using, let's say, WordPress platform and you create a, how to create a user, everyone can actually reuse it for their clients and their sites and put it on, on their site and they have kind of documentation uh, for their clients. Uh, so just quickly to go through this, uh, so we call these tutorials topics. So for example, here I have a list of tutorials. Uh, I can click, for example, on this one. I have an activity, see what, uh, who did what, so I can collaborate with my team members. I can see revision, so basically whenever you save the tutorial, uh, it's uh, kind of like a new revision, so you can go back and forth in the history. We have as well releases, so basically it allows you to create a release out of revision, so that means that you can, let's say for the production side, you can say give me uh, version 1.0, uh, but for the development side you want always latest, so that means that you can continue extending the tutorials for the development where you are creating new features and uh, without affecting production. So we created a tool that uh, is a kind of like a Chrome extension. So it, uh, so you have to have uh, the Chrome installed and then you can search for the tutorials that you created before and then you can basically just use this on any website. So you can continue, okay, so this is like the first step. There I see the, the steps here. Um, and then uh, you, can, you can embed images, you can embed videos as well and uh, so on. Then it's very easy to attach, uh, basically you don't, you don't need to know uh, any coding or you don't need to have any coding skills. And if I want to attach it to another element, I just use uh, this button and then just hover over the, uh, the website and then it will automatically select for me where it belongs. Uh, the, the last part is probably how you would uh, embed it into your site and it's very easy right now because you can just take a line of code and put it up there and you are done. Uh, we have some other options like uh, downloading through APR to your server so you can then uh, distribute it through the version control system and so on. Uh, so this is really in a nutshell uh, uh, what we do or what the platform allows you and basically it's kind of like another level of support for your customers. Uh, it's a self-help support 
which allows you to guide your customers uh, through the any web application, basically. And basically, that's that's it. I would say. Good. Um, I may have mentioned this to you before, um, so stop me if I have. The one thing that you could do is make this accessible through a browser plugin so that you don't need the software owner's consent for users to start creating a manual and then you can have an upgrade fee so that the software owner takes control of that manual and they can vet the content and embed it directly in their site as opposed to having this community sort of plug-in manual which is developed organically by users like a kind of tutorial version of Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's one of the options that we are thinking about as well. And uh, for example, like you have this uh, this widget there on the uh, as a player, and we might be able to allow you if you if you turn it on that there will be something like create new tutorials for this website or for this product, and it will be kind of like a, that anyone can help other users to create this. Um, this uh, this might be a bit harsh uh, and also a bit stupid from my point of view. Um, so my, my feedback to you would be to really work on articulating what it is, like what the pain it, that you're solving is and how you're solving it. So you're very comfortable talking about the technical developments of your product and all the features. Um, I know this isn't necessarily a pitching session, but I would like to more of a heads up exactly like what the pain is that you're solving to give me more context. Yep. Um, and if there's one thing that it seems you need to work on, I think that would be it. Yeah, I should, I should have mentioned it. I mean, I'm, I'm usually mentioning our background because our background is in web development and we always kind of struggled with the creating this kind of documentation for the clients, like struggling with creating screenshots, screencasts, which is not always reusable. Well, almost not real. And uh, so this is kind of that field, but yeah, I agree. Can we give a big round of applause, please, to Marek okay. and Inland Manuel?